Hey guys, this is just going to be a quick try on haul of five of my favorite teddy bear coats. I have looked all over for the, at the beginning of the season, the Mets Mara, the classic teddy bear jacket. It sold out like in Canada. I checked in New York, Hong Kong, Tokyo. Um, there was one here at Holt Renfrew, but it was really, really large size. So that's like my dream coat. I love jackets and coats. I don't really have a lot of clothes, but I actually, I do have a lot of jackets. That's like my number one favorite uh, piece of clothing. So I'll show you these ones. I love all of them. Um, and they're all actually pretty warm considering it's been a really cold winter. So this is the first jacket. This one is from Aritzia. It's a Wilford Free in a size one, which was the smallest. I think this jacket came in sizes one, two, and three. And you can see it's still pretty loose on me. This is my favorite out of all the five jackets I'm gonna show you. This one does not shed at all, which out of the five, this is the only one that doesn't shed. So just a little warning. I mean, most people probably are like me and wear like a dark color legging all the other ones get fur and fuzz all over the leggings so i really really do not like that um i will say when i wash i've washed this once so far this winter and it didn't quite look the same after it's looking a little uh, i don't know almost like a little bit matted i was a little disappointed but what can you do but anyway so yeah i just have um aritzia wilford free leggings on this is just like a men's tee from Urban Outfitters. But yeah, and then also, if you guys don't own these shoes, I got the Platform Vans and they're really, really comfy. I like them. And yeah, it's just like a casual everyday look. It's kind of like a pair of the purse like this. But yeah, a little pocket here, pockets here pocket on the inside. I love this. I've got so many compliments on this this winter. It was a little bit pricier. I think it was 200 and something. If you watch my Aritzia haul video, it will show it. But yeah, I'm really, really glad I bought this one. So this next coat is from H&M and I got it on sale actually I think it was only $30 and it's a really like a long teddy bear coat. It is size small so again super super oversized. I think with all of these I mean even the like the original Max Mara teddy bear coat is extremely oversized. So I'm 5'9 per reference. Um, I'm not sure if these coats would really look good on you if you're super petite. But for me, my height and weight, I think, you know, I can pull it off. But even this one is like bordering a little bit too big. But again, like this one is super, super warm. This one sheds a little bit. Um, probably I would pair it, maybe like I would wear like this or something. I'd probably put it inside the jacket. I will link everything if it's still available in the description. This one is like kind of like a true teddy bear brown coat. It is from Urban Outfitters and it's their own brand and it's a size medium. I really, really like this. This is more like a bomber jacket length. It's a little bit more cropped than all the other ones that I showed. And again, I really like it, it's super warm. I would say they're all pretty much the same warmth. Um, the only thing with this though, it does shed quite a bit. Like I find these little fibers all over my leggings, all over the floor. If it's like pushed up against another coat in the closet, it really sheds which sucks, but I mean, what are you gonna do? But again, yeah, I really, really like it. The pockets are really good, super cute. Again, like I feel like what, I mean, I'm just carrying like a gray purse. I feel like all these coats, no matter what color, it goes with it. 
and this one was fairly I feel like this was like around a hundred dollars Canadian so not too bad So the next two coats I'm going to show you are actually the same jacket, just different colors. So this one, probably you've seen everyone and their mother in this coat. It's the IMG Up coat. It's all over Instagram. Um, I ordered it from, you can get this brand on a lot of websites. I actually ordered it from their own website. I'm pretty sure it ships from Australia. So with uh, the first coat I got, I really liked it. I basically just tried it on really quickly. I never wore it though. I will say guys though, one one big thing I don't like about it, and to be honest, I probably wouldn't have ordered it, they shed like crazy, which I never heard anyone talk about. Um, the beige one that I'm going to show you in a second, the first time I wore it to the gym, my black leggings literally coated in fur. Like it looked like a dog had rubbed up against me. That is my number one pet peeve if you have fuzz or hair stuff sticking to you like I usually always carry a sticky roller I just feel like you really look like a hot mess if you have hair all over you so I really don't like that um, I feel like probably if you wore these coats with jeans it would be okay but leggings uh, especially like the Lululemon material it rubs against um, but these are really really warm I think they'll be really good for fall not just winter as well sorry traffic's a little noisy um, yeah, but this is a size small. To me, I almost think it's a little too big. I should have ordered extra small, which I believe is the smallest on the website. So if you are any smaller than me, definitely order extra small. I'll show you again, just like with the purse, I feel like a basic, like a basic purse looks really good and I'll just show you yeah with the purse again I feel like it it looks good with everything <clears throat> okay and here's the beige teddy bear coat from IMG up so again it's a size small um, already though I was noticing because the red and the beige one were um, hugging up against each other in the closet there's like you can see there's little red fuzzes all over this which is really annoying um, and something I will say I live in Canada this coat came first um, I didn't realize how much it shed otherwise I probably wouldn't have ordered the red one and the first coat that came I didn't have to pay duties on the, I think when the red one though came, I had to pay 36 extra dollars. And the man at the post office said it's just really random, the parcels they select that have to pay duty, so it can be different every time. But just a heads up, you might have to pay that, which is quite a bit considering the coat was only around $100, you're paying 30 some percent in extra taxes. So just to keep that in mind. So if you, maybe if you can find it on another website, that you know for sure will not charge you duties maybe order it that way but again i mean i think i actually maybe do like the red one a little bit better just because again like every person in the world has this one but it's okay um this one only took seven days to get here the red one though because it i guess went through a little extra processing uh due to the duties uh, i think it took three and a half weeks almost a month like I was pretty much over the coat by the time I got it. So again, keep that in mind. But yeah, I think all of these are really good. You can dress these up too, definitely, but I'm more like a casual type of person. Yeah. Do also look good just on the shoulder and they stay really, really well. All of them would do that. good looks good with a little crossbody bag yeah i kind of like wearing it like that yeah these are i'm just showing these two um types of purses because that's usually what i wear or like a little backpack 
but yeah so it looks good with a little purse and a big handbag as well maybe while i have this going here i'll show you guys if you have um like a little you can do it with any chanel purse but this is like the little mini flap um and this is the square there's also like a more rectangular one this is the square shape i'll show you different ways to wear it so you can wear it obviously crossbody and sometimes i feel like even sometimes i'll spin it all the way to the back like that so you can wear it in the back or the front obviously this is like normal just to the side maybe if you're dressed like a little bit more dressy than i am right now that would be good You can also, if you put the straps inside like this, this is usually how I store this purse too. You could carry it as like a little clutch. And you can also put like a little stopper on the chain so it won't move around. You could also, if you loosen this a little bit and put it, Either you could put like a hairband or something, you know, wrapping it around the strap on the inside. So this will lock the handle like this. It could be like a little tiny purse. You could also, when you do that, you can also wear it kind of in the crook of your arm. Also, if you want to shorten the strap a little bit, just put it like that and again the strap is shorter it'll fit over your shoulder okay or also again in the crook of your arm like that so there's really tons of ways to wear this bag Also, if you like the look of the strap going across the top like that, again, I made it shorter. Yeah, so you can wear it where um, the strap is visible here. Or not. And then this, again, it's like another little way the double strap it will make it really short just because this is the the mini version if you have the bigger um flat bag so it's obviously going to hang longer well, looks like i have a big belly yeah usually though with this one just how i like to wear it is crossbody you could even actually you know what i'm just noticing too when you shorten the strap when it's like that, yeah, you could have it sit really high up, which is kind of nice to get into if you're traveling, just so it's a little bit closer to you. I'll show you what it looks like when you have a jacket on. Yeah, so I think that looks cute too. So you can wear it crossbody where it sits like that, and actually when I'm feeling it, it feels a little bit more comfy like that, or where it hangs lower. So to be honest, I feel like Chanel flat bags are one of like the best investment pieces. Now there's so many websites. If you don't want to pay full price, I mean, just go online. There's lots of resale websites, but um, in the past I've had different sizes that I've resold and made tons of money off of actually, and I've used them for years. So um, yeah, and I like the patent one though, just because you can clean it really, really easily. But yeah. Just so if you guys didn't know how to tie it, I mean, there's so many ways. Sorry, I forgot to show you two other ways how you can wear it. So again, you can put a little stopper in here on the inside and then hold it and then have the chain hang down in front and then I'll show you one other and way. The last way, so you can tie a knot in it any length and Basically, it's going to suit any length you want, and it's really cute. Or you could also wear it in the crook of your arm like this. So it's just another way to shorten it. Honestly, and there's probably so many other ways I've never even thought of. The possibilities are endless. If you have any other ones, just let me know.